The brand new Stay Peachy merch is finally here. Head over to staypeachy.com to get your hands on the Stay Peachy Spring Collection. Honey, what are you doing? Oh, you know, I'm just vacuuming this really stubborn spot. It's like gray. Oh, that's just the wooden floor. Whoops. I thought you were supposed to be making breakfast for us. Oh, yeah, I got a little distracted because the floor had all this dust on it, but then I got it mostly cleaned up, but then there was this, like, one really stubborn spot. Oh, breakfast. I'll get to it right now. Yes, you know that you're not always going to be able to be this distracted. Whenever we have a kid one day, they're going to be running around like, where's my breakfast? Where's my breakfast? And you're going to have to have the breakfast ready. The spots on the floor are going to have to wait. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, breakfast, of course. Yeah, most important meal of the day. And, yeah, a kid. I'm so excited. Oh, there's so many things going on in my mind right now. Right now it's like we, we have you know a kid and and we have a house and we have jobs and wait we don't have a kid you're not pregnant are you no of course not but i that's why i said one day you weren't paying attention i said one day and you know what being pregnant sounds really really hard i mean your belly gets all big and then the stork has to come and then they like peck you on the head until all of a sudden you have a baby inside your stomach yeah and then you crave things like pickles and chocolate sauce it just sounds really hard um but you know what i might have an idea that might get us to having a child a little bit sooner what's your idea well you know that there are tons of kids out in the world that need families so i thought it'd be really great if we could adopt a child i mean i think that they're having an adoption fair today whoa really uh, i guess i've always wanted to have a kid and you know, why wait nine months when we could just go down the street and pick one up today? Yeah, exactly. I mean, you, you know, you can bring all these kids to the world, but at the end of the day, there's also kids that really need the help. So I think we should just go down and see if we really click with anyone. I like your thinking. Okay, so just after I really get this stubborn spot, it's really bothering me. Okay, okay. I'll go get ready, and then we'll go. Here we are, the daycare. <gasps> Come on, honey, I'm so excited. This is gonna be so fun. Look at all the little kids that are in there. There's so many choices. We just gotta make sure we make the right choice. Okay, here, come over here. What are we looking for in a kid exactly? I guess we probably want them to be nice and friendly and responsible. Responsible, yes, that's a good one. We wanna make sure that you know they're ready for a loving home. Maybe they get along with others. Uh, and even if, you know, maybe, maybe it's their favorite holiday Today's Christmas. That's a pretty good sign. Yeah, I like all that. I just made notes. Okay, so which kid do you want to go look at first? What about the girl with the little bunny ears? That's a cute costume. Mm, she's holding a really stinky looking stuffed animal, though. It's an adoption center. They don't have a ton of really nice stuff here. The funding is lacking. Okay, okay. Let's go see what she's all about. Hi there, sweetie. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? I'm Mia. I love, do you love bunnies? I love bunnies. Yeah, bunnies are very cute. I actually want to be a bunny when I grow up and also guess what I can also crawl like one too and I'm always gonna crawl like one for the rest of my life oh no interesting so you don't think at any point you'll like start walking around or did you know that you actually can't be an animal whenever you grow up like you have to pick like a, a job or a profession like you can't change species that's not true I read a book and it said that you can be bunny also I only plan to only eat carrots that's well, cheap at the grocery store get a whole bag she'd eat for a week yeah but then she's a picky eater and then she's lacking any greens or, or protein or grains all she has is carrots that's not a healthy diet and then her eyes will turn orange well if we adopt her we get a pet and a human all in one you know what i think we just should we really want to meet everybody here Mia. yeah you you sit back down over there buddy rabbit hop hop okay you guys will be back um, i'm oh, sure. sure okay uh Hi! Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm pretty good. Have you ever dissected a worm before? No, oh, I've never dissected a worm. Have you ever took the wings off a fly and watched them struggle? Oh, that's pretty crazy. This kid wants to be a doctor when he grows up, probably from all the surgery he's doing. Have you ever heard the rumor about an umbrella? Um, an umbrella? What's... Well, if I open one in this room, we'll all have 17 years of bad luck. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 put, put that thing there. away, you're crazy. Oh, so you don't want to adopt me? So I guess I'll go down the street and live in this box forever. Huh? Is that what you want me to do? Do you want me to dissect you? Can I dissect you for once? Just one time. Let me just dissect you. Ma'am, ma'am, I think there's a there's a little boy acting up. He's kind of scaring me. Do you think that you could go and, like, uh, check on him? Oh, um, he's a little weird. Let hey, me can just I dissect your hair and let me see what's inside uh, that brain of yours? Probably nothing because you're stupid. You're all stupid. You know, you're he was just dumb. dropped as a child. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh, he's escaping! You better catch him before he kills someone! Oh my gosh, it's kind of looking really hopeless. I don't know if we're gonna find our perfect match.
match here. Uh, so sorry about Derek. You know, he's kind of a little weird. He makes us all a little bit scared. Oh, yeah, that's okay. So what's your name? Oh, I'm Claire. It's nice to meet you. Claire, it's great to meet you too. So Claire, uh, you're probably looking for a family, right? Yeah, actually I, I am. I've been in this adoption center for two years now. Oh, wow. That's a long time. Um, well, we're really looking for, you know, another family member to come in and call our own and treat really, really special. Oh, like really special? Like, like the best ever? Yes, like the best ever. We want to take tons of care of a little child. Um, and a really quick question. You don't want to be like a bunny rabbit when you grow up, do you? What? A bunny? No. I think that I want to be like a dancer or or a YouTuber. And you don't want to cut us in half or anything, right? Hey, does anyone have a butter knife I can use? Does anyone have a butter knife I can use? Um, uh, uh, he's got the adoption girl. Okay, sold. We want this one. Claire, maybe you should come up with us. Ma'am, I think you're okay, right? This is okay. She's definitely not okay. <laughs> Let's get out of here before anything we witness something. Yeah, come on, Claire. I think you're going to be a perfect match for us. <laughs> well, here it is. Our home. Wow, this is such a big house. Uh, yeah, and you're going to be able to have your very own room, too. We're very excited. I am so excited. I don't think you understand how cool this is going to be. Yeah, come on. Let's show you inside. We have an area where you can spend a lot of time studying and watching some TV, cartoons. I should capture this on home video. <gasps> oh, yeah, here, 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 here. Yeah, you just follow me. Okay, yeah, keep telling me, Mom, about how, uh, how expensive is this computer? Oh, I mean, it's just like your average computer computer price. Sorry, we left the bank statements up here. Let me just, uh, uh, yeah, it's just like your average computer. It doesn't really matter how much it is because it's just a computer and it works all the same, right? Oh, um, yeah, sure. So tell me, how much was this hot tub? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. It's just a hot tub. I mean, uh, where did you learn about money and all these financial things? Oh, well, actually, I am a self-taught professional uh, businesswoman. I have taken so many YouTube tutorials you would not believe. I know how to start a business. I know how to invest. I know how to do all of these, like, really, really important things. Wow, she's business savvy. Did you hear that, Megan? She can manage all of our money. So I just need to, like, you know, write down how much everything is in the house so that, like, if we ever needed to resell at some point, you know, we need to see how much value we have so I know how many toys you can afford. I mean, uh, how much we can afford. Okay, my passwords for No, everything. hey, honey, honey, stop, stop, Ooh. stop, stop, stop. Claire, why don't you go upstairs and check out the flat screen in your room? <gasps> A flat screen in my room? Oh, that's going to add up some big bucks. What did we do? This girl We hit the jackpot. The girl knows how to do our taxes. You heard her. She doesn't know how to do our taxes. She's six. But what I do know is that she's obsessed with materialistic items and money. It seems like she wants to get the price of everything. She wants to know how much we make, what we do, and how much we're going to be able to spoil her. That doesn't set off any red flags to you? Oh, no. That doesn't sound very good. If she's obsessed with money, she'll probably want us to buy a lot of stuff for her all the time. Wait, wait, you don't think she's spoiled, do you? She's a sneaky one, and I think she might be a little bit spoiled, but I don't know how you could be spoiled if you're in the if you're in the adoption center for two years, unless, like, she just, you know, is dealing with maybe not having anything there, and now she wants a lot of stuff. Let's just try to teach her how money isn't the most important thing in life. Yeah, they, like, you know, it's all about having a nice family and people you love, not the money. Exactly, exactly. We're going to have a really loving family without anything to do with any money. Maybe we could go upstairs and get her ready for bed. Oh, yeah, that's probably smart. Then we can handle all of the, like, giving her our passwords and stuff later. Oh, where is she? I didn't even assign her a room, so there's just no telling where she actually is. Oh, I see her. She's over here. Uh, hi, Claire. Hi, honey. What are you doing? Oh, hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. So... I'm on a shopping spree right now. Oh, that's cute. Like, you know, like you're playing dress up on an app. No, I ordered a hundred of these balloons. They're coming in tomorrow. What? Wait, what? How did you uh, afford any of this stuff? I found this tablet that was like hidden under like a nightstand, like in a drawer. And now I have like all of the numbers to the cards. Oh, no, 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 honey. That's linked to your Amazon account. No, wait, how did you purchase all this stuff? With our stuff, she was automatically logged into Amazon. That's your iPad. Oh my gosh, Claire, you can't just spend money on whatever you want. What? Well, well why not? Why can't I spend money on whatever I want? Because money doesn't grow on trees. It's not an unlimited experience. You have to be frugal and life's not about money. What do you mean life's not about money? I thought that I was going to get 
adopted by a family who was gonna buy me toys and do stuff for me, but apparently not. Being in a good family is not about possessions or material items and getting absolutely everything that you want all the time. Sometimes we have to do what's best for you. So you're just going to waste all of my talent and all of my potential by not getting me what I need and what I want? This is ridiculous. If you won't give me what I want, I'll find someone who can. Hey, come back here, young lady. Come back. Oh, no, no, she's running away. Where is she going to go? Oh, gosh, where is she going, honey? Claire, come back. Just please, I'll please get don't her. run. What are you come doing? Come back here. Oh, oh. oh. Honey, come no. on. What are you doing? You're wasting time. She's literally six. We can just chase after her. Claire, Claire, please just wait. Oh. Yeah, we finally caught her. I'm dead. Come on, Claire. It's time to go home. Time to go home? Absolutely not. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. I came here to talk to this boy with the iPad. Yes, hello, everybody. My name is Sammy. I do have an iPad. I know, guys. Everyone's pretty excited about it. I wanted to know, where did you get that iPad? My mother bought it for me, of course, stupid. Everyone gets iPads where I come from because we're weird. Oh, uh... His mom will get him an iPad. Well, you know, maybe he worked really hard for that iPad. Maybe he did a bunch of chores and he really saved up for it. And... Madam, I did absolutely nothing. Seriously, I wasn't even a good boy. I didn't do anything. I should have got a cold or something, but just random day of the week, Wednesday, they were like, you have an iPad. I was like, okay. So who taught you that you can have anything that you want? My mother, stupid, okay? Jeez, be cute. Those are dumb. <laughs> they are so dumb. <laughs> Wait, where's your mom? Do you think I could probably have a conversation with her? Mother, come here now. She's a woo. She's so slow. She's coming. Um, hey, kiddo. You know, you just interrupted my photo shoot. What do you need? I'm so sorry, mom. This lady in the pink hair has all sorts of questions for you. Yeah, uh, why don't you kiddos go play and we'll all go talk amongst ourselves. Um, so, miss, uh, it appears that you may have taught your kid that money is one of the only things that matters in this life, and now our kid is also throwing a really big fit because we didn't get her an iPad. Well, this is how I see it. If you can afford it, then why not? We don't have money for iPads or anything really fancy like that. I mean, maybe we do, but we just don't really think that, you know, it's good for a six-year-old. And if you think that's good for your six-year-old, that's fine. But do you think maybe you could talk to your son about not being such a brat? How my kid acts isn't really up to you or anything like that. And I don't see anything wrong with it. Besides, if your kid's happy with whatever you poor people enjoy or whatever, then it should be fine, right? We are not by any means poor. We just don't believe in spoiling our children rotten. Well, that's fine and all, but again, I'm not gonna change the way my son thinks because I don't see anything wrong with it. Um, besides, your kid, I've noticed they don't really look like you. We just adopted our kid yesterday from the adoption center and we're doing our best as parents to teach her right from wrong. Um, you know, my son and your daughter seem to get along pretty good. How would you feel about letting me adopt her instead? You want to adopt our child? My son uh, really appreciates, uh, you know, life of the rich and money and cars and stuff like that. All the nice things, you know, because I can afford that because I'm a model. And your child seems to want to be famous and rich and likes money, so I... Hey, our kid probably along. loves us, and she would never just go and leave us for no money. And we can't just give up on her. I mean, she picked us. She wanted to come into our family for a reason, although it might be better if she went to a home that she was more compatible with. Well, maybe you should just ask. Let's let's go ask her, honey. You can do the honor. Hey, Claire. Yeah? You, you like us, right? Eh, you're okay, I guess. See, I knew it. So you wouldn't want to go live with, like, that lady over there or anything, right? You mean to live with the world-famous model, Sylvia? I would do anything. You know what? This is probably for the best. Okay, Claire, so Sylvia actually said that she wants to adopt you. And since we didn't fill out any paperwork for you anyway at the beginning because that one kid was trying to slit the throat of the, of the attendant with a butter knife, um, I think maybe you could just leave with her and get the life you truly want. Oh my gosh, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is the best thing you could have ever done for me. Uh, you know, I uh, I totally owe you. If once I get uh, rich and famous one day, I'll send you some money. So mom, does that mean I can get an iPad? Um, I think we kind of need to get a little acquainted first, don't you think? Besides, you've got homework to do. What? Oh, come on. Come on, 
on, dum dum. You expect me to get an iPad for no reason? You have to do a lot of homework and be smart. Jeez, oh, that's not what you oil. said on the swing. <sighs> well, it looks like that's how the cookie crumbles, and you know, maybe it's not such a bad thing. Maybe all good things take time. Yeah, and there's like plenty of time for us to, you know, figure out our family situation at least. Uh, she's much happier, maybe, with that family. Yeah, I think we're all better off this time around. We could always adopt that kid that knows how to cut things in half. I mean, who knows? We could definitely use something like that. No, I don't think we could. I do. I don't think we could. Thank you guys so much for watching today's Brookhaven roleplay video. If you guys loved it, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. If it's red, go ahead and click it and turn it silver. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to hashtag stay PG and stay kind, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!